New tonight at five, some neighbors are worried about this home in South Charlotte being transformed into an Airbnb. But that's not all. They say the owner wants to split it up into as many as eight bedrooms rented out. Yeah, Channel 9's Joe Bruno learned the house has gotten the city's attention, but they're being denied access into it. Now this home looks like any other single family home, but neighbors say it is being converted into a seven or eight bedroom Airbnb with rents in the $20 range a night and they're asking the city how this possibly could be legal. He told me it was going to be a family home for he and his wife uh, and his mother in law and father in law. Jordan Kazee used to own this home along Cliffside Drive. He still lives in the neighborhood and says he never would have sold it to the new homeowner if he knew what he was planning. He says through an online listing, he found out his old house will be an Airbnb with single short term rental rooms. He confronted the new homeowner about it. He did not tell me this is what you're going to do, and he just denied and said, you know, I can do what I want. Contractors are currently working inside the home. The driveway has freshly painted parking lines. The house is already on Airbnb. You can rent a room for 23 bucks a night. Neighbors are concerned strangers will be coming and going at all hours of the day. I think it's a very reasonable request um, for families basically anywhere to be able to just feel some sense of safety of letting their kids in the front yard to hang out with other kids. The house has gotten the attention of the city of Charlotte. Code enforcement went by on Thursday and was denied access. Workers told the city they were dividing rooms inside the house for multiple bedrooms. The city says if an inspector isn't let inside, they'll get a warrant. With the city not having any luck, I gave it a shot. After a knock, a worker opened the door. So I did. It appears his car is in the driveway, so let's give it another shot. A couple hours later. You see his car is in the driveway? Yeah, he is not driving his car. So the mystery of what is going on inside continues. Neighbors say they're exploring their options. Peace of mind is something that I think people are willing to absolutely fight for. I called and I sent emails to the new property owner of this site. He did not get back to me. I also reached out to the Airbnb listing that he has online already. The message was read, but it was not returned. Reporting in South Charlotte, Joe Bruno, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. We also reached out to the city of Charlotte to ask if code enforcement was allowed back inside today or allowed inside today. We are still waiting to hear back.